Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Tiger Television. This week we have some very exciting topics to cover. Roll the intro. most wonderful time of the year. Candygrams are now for sale. For only 50 cents, you can send all your friends a delicious premium candy cane with a personalized message from you. See your email and flyers for more specific sale information and get ready to send all those candygrams. Merry Christmas! First things first on this episode is a look at the fall play. It was really impressive how well they all came together, even with all the changes. Take it away, Brody. Hi, I'm Brody, and this week I'm going to give you an inside look on the fall play. I've been involved in the play for five years. And I've been involved in the play for seven. And I think that it really especially helped me when I was younger, because I was shy, and now I can't shut up. We asked some students on why they joined the fall play. I think it really helps uh, people kind of, I don't know, kind of break out a bit. Yeah, no, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I joined because it sounded fun. I've been in play for like three years and it's always been fun. We asked some seniors on why they would encourage others to join the fall play. I would encourage other people to join play because it's a great experience and you can meet new people and try things out that you've never done before. I would. It's a lot of fun. I encourage people to go out for the play because of the atmosphere. Um, we all have a lot of fun. It's a great experience and you should do it. Thank you to all the seniors who participated in the fall play. This has been Brody Butterball reporting for Tiger Television. Thanks Brody. That was very interesting and it was great to be a part of the crew. I encourage everyone to give the fall play a try next year. It's fun to see what students are doing around the building. Lincoln got a chance to check in on some sixth graders. Take it away, Lincoln. This is Lincoln Haynes reporting for Tiger Television. I caught up with Miss Martin's sixth grade class on their Bridge to Terabithia project. My favorite part about the book is when they discovered Terabithia. It just put in my mind that you can find an old place that no one cares about and just make it awesome. After reading the book, students worked to visualize an important scene of their choice. While some did a graphic novel or book cover, most others chose to create a diorama. My favorite part was making the clay figures and adding sprinkles everywhere to make it more magical. Probably building the bridge. Um, my favorite part was probably finding the materials to build. Students worked really hard adding several elements to represent the scenes well. The project turned out great. This has been Lincoln Haynes reporting for Tiger Television. Wow, that looks like a fun project. We hope to hear more from the other middle school grades in the next couple of weeks. Our last feature is a crowd favorite. Time to grab some popcorn and check out Cinedeni Cinetime. Take it away, Isaiah.
Welcome back to Cinedeni Cinetime. I'll be telling you about Mulan, Artemis Fowl, and Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway. Mulan was a Disney made remake of the classic from 1998. It doesn't differ too much from the original story, although the rating has changed from a G to a PG 13. Artemis Fowl is about a character named after the movie who was a young criminal prodigy looking for his father and having to hunt after a secret society of fairies to do so. It is rated PG. Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway is the sequel to the first one, and the cast includes James Corden, who was the voice of Peter Rabbit, Elizabeth Debicki, who was the voice of Mopsy Rabbit, Lenny James, who is the voice of Barnabas, and more. Rated PG. Wow, Isaiah. That was great. Thanks for giving us some ideas of what to catch in the theater. On Friday, we have a boys JV basketball versus Waco at home at 4.30. Girls varsity basketball versus Waco at home at 6 o'clock. And also boys varsity basketball versus Waco at home at 7.30. Also, we have a Varsity Wrestling versus Notre Dame, Danville, and Rest Burlington on Saturday at 10 a.m. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on the next week's episode of Tiger Television.